The bystander effect is a widely studied behavior where individuals refrain from helping others in distress, prompting ethical inquiries about moral obligation. When evaluating our stance on litter, it's important to reflect on our role in the buildup of litter in our surroundings. In contrast to other cultures, Japan has a stronger cultural emphasis on picking up litter, prompting questions about why some societies tolerate litter despite knowing its negative impact. In some situations, it's not easy to determine who's morally responsible. Take an ostensibly black and white case, such as a person who intentionally stabbed and killed another person. On this fact alone, we might say the stabber is responsible for their actions. But ethical responsibility is a slippery beast. At what point do we cross the line of ethical responsibility? Every one of these actors is responsible to some degree. But who is morally culpable? Who could we, or should we, blame? Who can we take to court? We all live in a sprawling, interconnected mesh. No event happens in isolation, and no action is straightforward. One of the more relatable and topically pressing issues surrounding moral responsibility is litter, neighborhood, and social responsibility. Where exactly does responsibility lie? According to a new study from the University of California, most of the trash that people drop was purchased within two miles from where it was discovered. In other words, people are likely to drop litter in their own neighborhoods. The study looked at seven sites, finding that one of the most useful and common pieces of litter was receipts. These receipts are not only commonly thrown away, but they often come with time and location markers, making it possible to tell where the litter came from.